Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we will be talking about process simulation in DW Sim. So um, if you haven't watched the introduction video, I would also put a link into the that video um, just to show you what process simulation is all about and talking a bit generally about DW Sim. So in this video, we're going to be going through a particular. We're going to start going through. Um, an actual process and how to simulate in DW Sim. So this would be the first of a series of videos um, till we get to the end of our process. So in this video, we'll be setting up the simulation environment. So if you would like to know more about that, do keep on watching. So the process that we're going to be looking at is a refrigeration plant. And so we'll be looking at how to um, model the refrigeration plant basically um so this refrigeration plant will have an inlet separator a heat exchanger a cooler a low temperature separator and a depropionizer which is essentially a column as well so and then we'll be having a natural our feed stream will be a natural gas stream that has nitrogen carbon dioxide methane ethane um propane, isobutane, and n-butane that will be processed in the refrigeration system. And what we're trying to do is to remove the heavier hydrocarbons. And then we also have a specification that our pipeline hydrocarbon um, must be of a particular dew point. And then we would also be getting a liquid product with a propane con with a specified propane content. So this has already been carried out in has in Aspen Heises and um, so it's basically we're going to be following the tutorial in getting started in Aspen Heises and we'll just try and compare the the results that we get in, that they were they have gotten in Aspen with what we get in DWSIM and so that should be quite interesting as well. Um, so this is the flow sheet as well. That's the flow sheet that we got from the Aspen Heises workbook. So you can see the two feed streams and the mixer and we've got the separator as well. This is how we would get the dew point spec of um, the um, hydrocarbon sales gas. Um, there's heat exchange. We, so you can see that this vapor is taking, is getting heat exchange from the vapor um, here, here that is coming out from this low temperature separator as well. We've got another mixer here and we've got the depropanizer. So don't worry, we'll be going through this little um, step by step and we would see how we would build this up in DWCM and we can um, compare results. So the first things that we're going to be doing is setting up the simulation environment, our, our system of units. So our system of units is important because we are going to be looking at our flow in standard cubic feet. So that's one thing that we're going to be changing in the simulation environment. Another thing is we're going to have to create a component list. That's a list of all the um, compounds that we are going to be using as well, which we have mentioned before. So that would be, we will need to put that in, input that into our DWC model. And we'll also be, so be selecting a property pack package, which is the Penn Robinson package. So that's what we'll be using. Um, so now we're going to go into the actual simulation environment to do those three things. Um, like we said before, for us to run a simulation, we have to first of all add some compounds, set up a property package, and be satisfied with our unit system as well. So the first thing we'll do is to look into our unit system. And with that, we can go into setup. And then we go into flow sheet settings. As you can see as well, you can just do alt plus M and you'll be able to get um, it automatically. So the more you use the, use the software, the more you would know, you know, the easier it is to become familiar with the um, shortcuts and all of that. So here you can see the name of the simulation. So if you want, you can say, you can call it my refrigeration, or you can just say refrigeration plant. Um, and also 
so you can see that the main thing that we're here for is actually the system of units there are also different other things other things that you can change here if you're you know feeling very um if you're very adventurous you can change things here that's fine you can always change it as well whenever you want um but it just helps to sort of have that at the start of the project um so you have si cgs eng as well so that's si this is um um cgs and also the imperial um english system of units so what we want to do is you can literally choose any one of them and you can then edit it so you can just choose that create new and when you go to create new you can see you can call it refrigeration plant set just so that you know you have um, Just so that it's easily recognizable you don't have to but it's just you know good to do it so the information that we're giving we're giving our temperature in Fahrenheit we're giving our pressure in um, pounds per square inch absolute and we also need our need our molar flow to be in feet cube per day so we just do that and we are happy with that and you can just close that and close this as well so the next thing that we need to do is to put in our compounds the compounds that we would be using in the simulation so we need to go into setup click on compounds and then we're able to add in all that we're using so we're going to so for example we need to add in nitrogen so we type that in there and press enter and then you click in the um, radio button beside it next we need carbon dioxide press enter and you can see it as well also we need um methane and so on um When we get to butane now we can see both are available so we have both we have put in everything and so we're fine with that and so the next thing that we need to do is just close up and where we open so we can just close it up when we open it up again we can see so that's all done now that we've added in our components, the next thing that we need to do is to select our property package. So our property package has would be under our basis, under setup as well. Um, and here we'll be using Peng Robinson. So Peng Robinson, so okay. So our property package is includes the equations that we use to model the thermodynamic behavior of the pure compounds and mixtures. So depending on what um, components or compounds we have, we would determine the equations that we would use. Um, I think we need to do a full video on the different property packages and when to use which pro um, property package because that would really help as well. Select the property package, which in this case is Peng Robinson. 
um, that would help us in calculating any physical or chemical properties of the material streams in the simulation. So depending on, it's usually an equation of state as well. So here we can ha we have that. And as you can see, you can edit it um, if you're feeling really, you know, if you have a particular information, if you have particular information here that you would like to, you know, improve on, then you can always do that. So we'll see, I'm sure we'll have opportunities to check these out in later videos. So yeah, just to know that you have that in there. Um, flash algorithms as well. Let us know. So as it says here, they let us know um what what um so the okay so the flash algorithms let us know the components in each phase when the mixture when the stream is at thermodynamic equilibrium and you know depending on the temperature the pressure the enthalpy and the entropy so in this case we don't you know estimate that would have so you can do you don't estimate that will have more than maybe one vapor and one liquid phase but you can see you can have vapor two liquid phases and um, you can have solid and liquid phase as um, equilibrium as well so this is usually the default um, one that we use so that's fine and you can also edit that as well um, you can if you have this um, takes then automatically to calculate bubble and dew points as well for you you can tinker with the convergence as well and the nested loops um so i'm sure we'll get to go into this in a bit more detail as well later on um and so when we close that up that is all we are now ready to begin our simulation so yeah We'll start off this simulation in the next video. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.